You know, if you wanted, you could put an end to all this. Well, of course, there are other ways to save the company. I'm only moving it to China because I'm craving egg foo young. You know, I just got off the phone with some investors. Yes, and they want a controlling interest. We get to stay here with the people who've been so loyal to this company. Everyone keeps their jobs. It's been a family business for 120 years. There's no way that I'm letting What's wrong? Praise for the Praise for the Dad? Praise for the Dad. Fresh from I need you to drive me to a doctor. Hey, how's my dad doing? Uh, great. His vision's back to normal, and if he remains asymptomatic through the night, we'll be able to release him in the morning. Any chance that could happen before 9? Our stock dropped a couple points today with the news that he's sick. I would love for him to get out of here before the market opens. No offense, but, uh... I think it's terrible your dad's closing down all your American operations. I don't think he's moving the company out of greed. He's moving it out of grief. My mom, she died four months ago. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it's been hard for him. Living in their house, driving down the same streets. I mean, he's constantly reminded of her. Dad? <laughs> I need an intubation kit in here. What's going on? I hear one of you thinks I'm a real bastard. I guess that would be me. Your boss uses blackmail and you question my professional ethics. Will you be instituting worker safety regulations in your new factories? Oh, absolutely. What about juice boxes in the break room for the children you'll be hiring? Charges of child exploitation against American companies have been blown way out of proportion. My 10-year-old cousin lives near Cebu City, works at an American factory. I am so sorry. It's the best thing for him. It sucks, but the Filipino factories suck worse, and the schools would suck if they existed. So this is the family's best hope. Are you okay? Is it supposed to age like this? The daughter said that her mother died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. What if she was misdiagnosed? Dutch chocolate's not bad. Gotta give them that. Her lymphoma could have been caused by a virus, HTLV-1, which our patient contracted through having sex with his wife. In other words, loyalty gave him cancer. I like it. Start him on radiation. You were CEO since 1988. You decided to move your company right after your wife died. Stands to reason that your emotions factored in. My wife... It's the only thing that keeps me here. I visit her grave once a week. So your daughter was wrong. You just really need a lot of money. Do you ever hear of Congo Gumi? Construction company in Japan founded in the year 578, family owned and operated building Buddhist temples for 50 generations. Well, went bankrupt five years ago. You have any idea how that last CEO must have felt? I'm sorry, I, I have to move. Your heart rate is speeding up. Do you feel any tightness in your chest? Yes, I figured it was from the radiation. I think you're having a heart attack. Well, it sounds like there could be spinal cord involvement. Have you considered normal pressure hydrocephalus? Okay, normal pressure hydrocephalus going once, normal pressure hydrocephalus going twice. It's not his spinal cord, it's the wiring between his heart and his brain. Autonomic dysregulation syndrome. We do a tilt table test, see how his heart rate responds. That'll confirm. How are your feet? Mr. Barton? 
Can you hear me, Mr. Barton? Oh, no. How are you holding up? Well, other than the fact that my dad's in a coma. Terrible. Tomorrow morning, I am supposed to sign a piece of paper that will move the company and cost thousands of employees their jobs. I thought you'd rather see the company go under in New Jersey than thrive in China. That's what my dad wants, and it's still his company. I'm really just keeping the seat warm. But unless he wakes up before tomorrow, it's gonna be my signature on that piece of paper. You don't have to sign it. I'll let you know when we have the results. Two options. Either we figure out what's wrong with this guy, or we figure out how to make this company profitable in New Jersey. Eastern equine encephalitis? Thinking in here. Brain scans indicate it could be low lower disease. Oh, shut it off. Apparently, we're allowed to do this now. Get out of here, house. Start the patient on plasmapheresis. And wake up in an hour. It's been a pleasure having you in the neighborhood. Oh. This diagnosis was brought to you by the letter Y. Dad. But you're okay. Thirsty. That's a side effect of not dying. Turns out your blood was getting thick and syrupy. Complexes of large Y-shaped antibodies were clogging up your blood vessels, causing your organs to shut down one by one. Now, usually with hyperviscosity syndrome, it's caused by elevated blood count or protein count. Yours eluded us. It was caused by antibodies from your rheumatoid arthritis. Now that they're being filtered out, your blood would be a little less duck sauce, a little more soy sauce. So I'm going to be completely cured. It's not all about you. Your stock price will be completely cured. Once you sign this, it's a press release. It says that you're healthy, you're going back to work, and you're signing the lease that officially moves the company to China. He just woke up, Dad. You don't have to deal with this right um, now. Yeah, actually, he does. Because the market opens at 9 a.m. And this means a lot to me. You may remember me from the time I saved your life. If you move it, it'll be without me. I know you object. I know you disagree with Dad, me. I can't do it. If this is really about family, you will not do this. 